And now you got a nickel out of there. Yeah, there's a coin spill right here. Did you yeah. big time? Got a nickel and three quarters? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, now we'll check one more time and see if there's anything else. There should be somewhere. Because look how big this hole got. Yeah, big time. Now I'm not reading nothing. It might have been all there was. Yep. Well, Still I think cool? I got it all. Yay! I see I get it assembled. So I got 80 cents. Cool. <laughs> hey, if you find another quarter, you can get something off the dollar menu at McDonald's. Whoa. Yeah, free burger for me. What? What was that? Nothing. Right. You got mine. Apparently, there is some metal thingy going on around here. <laughs> More rust in peace. More twiggy stuff. Look at this. Yep. Still looking. This. 1973. And you didn't even have to dig that one. It was right there. Like, <laughs> look how this all matted down like somebody had been sitting there. Yeah, they probably did. They were sitting there during the festival that you just had. There you go. <laughs> Happy. Not the nickel. I'm gonna hear something. Okay. Um, you win. <laughs> hey, it's pink. You win. <laughs> I got one of each now, so I'm really happy about that. It's cancer Awareness Month. It is? No. It is now. It is now. It's Cancer Awareness Month, and you get a nickel for every hair tie you pick up. The quarter, I put the penny in the pocket, and that hole done made him mad. He's going after it, whatever it is. <laughs> here, found the quarter right about here. I got another solid sound right there. Um, kind of do a semi live well, It'll be a live pick, I guess. I, I guess you call it whatever you want. I'll set the camera up. This way you guys can see it, hopefully. Minus the blades of grass that are in the way. But see if I can get it out nonetheless. Yeah, it's a long day, a long video too. But that's all right. That's okay. I'm going to take my time with this one. It's going to be a... It's not going to be all in one. It's going to be in multiples. I'm going to do like maybe two, maybe three different episodes. To be continued. Each time. But I love Saline, Michigan. I told you I love this place. I always find super cool stuff here. And this one's ticking me off. Okay, I think I found it over here. <clears throat> I'm running low on battery, so this might be the last one. I mean, I'm like amazed that it's still working now. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute, huh? It's out. Oh! No, no, it's a little piece of uh, crap, a little uh, wiring, that's all that was. Remember how I said uh, that hole, probably crap? Yeah. I dug down, Yeah. almost a foot. Yeah. <laughs> he was crap, he was right. He's it's, like, a, it's like a juice. <laughs> juice box. Box or something. <laughs> I hate litter bugs, do it, not litter. Don't do it, he'll kill you. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Can make out the date. Still good. Well, you can tell it's a penny because it's got the memorial on the back. But uh, that's cool. That's definitely a penny. But I can't make out a date. That's good. All right, was it high pitch? Yeah. That's definitely copper. And into the pouch it goes. Toy. Toy horse. Toy horse. Metal or plastic? Looks like plastic with a broken leg. Uh, yeah, shoot it. <laughs> okay. I'll pick some when I get home. Oh yeah. I'll pick some when I get home. Oh yeah. Between four and six inches deep. That was just a weird sound. Bitty bitty deep. Bitty bitty deep. It's because there are like three or four targets right there. That, those could be coins, maybe. Possibly. Well, check it out. We came here to dig. Yeah. I just. You got roots there too. Hey. Two Allen wrenches? Somebody must have dropped some tools. It. Probably missed them. Whoops. And that appears to be it in that hole. I don't, I'm not getting anything else. Oh, two Allen wrenches. And a piece of a can. Those cool. are Allen wrenches. For... Oh, that's cool. Don't find those every day. Kind of neat. What's this? A rocket? Yeah, it was laying on the ground over there. Yeah, it looks kind of shot. <laughs> yeah, looks like something's been chewing on it. Yeah, namely a dog. <laughs> or a squirrel. Uh, that hole there is not me. Which one? That one. That looks like 
looks like a dog did that. Yeah, and it wasn't me. I just got here. <laughs> How old? Uh, 1982. Oh, cool. <laughs> this is kind of sandy. It was, it was down in there quite deep. Dang. Cool. So there is coins out here. Well, one. <laughs> Got it? Oh, two more pennies. You see those just popped oh, up? Oh, they just popped up. They just jumped up. Look at that. Two more. Got a coin spill. Ha-ha! see if there's anything else. Let me get... Hush. Shut up. There's more coins in there. <laughs> Somebody must have sat down here. They knew they were, they knew you were going to show up, and what they did is they buried them to see if you'd find them. <laughs> somewhere it might be deeper I didn't look at the screen to see what its depth was is that it oh nail that's a square nail too I found a nail look how square it is perfect that was forged really yeah the little square nails like this were handmade that's old which makes me wonder what the hell was out here I don't know. I mean, I found a, I found like two or three of those little square ones. Because when I was a kid, you know, growing up in the 70s, this has always been a park as far as I know. There could have been a structure out here, like... Some sort of house or maybe like maybe a, in a the 60s playground or, or something? I don't know. I mean, they got a beautiful open clearing. Whoop. There's more stuff in there. But I think it's more of those nails. Mm, yeah. Got something. Don't know. I could be kids. something. I bet. There could be some coinage there. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Cute little thing. Little peepee. Nice construction work. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. And they're redoing... Oh, they're redoing I'm the whole bridge? I'm going to walk over there and yeah. take a look. Check it out. <laughs> what is this, copper? No, it's not even, not even metal. <laughs> This is interesting. Well, there goes an egret. A what? A oh, a snowy egret. <laughs> Looks like it could be a penny, but... It's like a nickel. Oh, maybe it's a nickel or a penny. I think it's a penny, but it's so... Yeah, it's a penny. I see copper. Okay. I'm finding coins all over the place today. Yep, definitely a penny. Definitely a penny, but holy nice. crap, it's got so much this is stuff on it. Yeah, that sounded really good too. That was like 78, 80. Perfect.
I don't know what this is. And that intrigues the shit out of me. <laughs> it's metal, and it's got this this groove all around the bottom that's full of dirt. Right. See that? Yeah. I don't know what that is. I mean, too. That needs to go off oh. the website. Oh, now I see. Oh, now I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that too. Oof. I don't know what that is. I don't have a clue. It looks like a projectile, but it does look like it's part of a bullet, like a. But it, but it's not. It's completely wrong shaped. Huh. So, see, a bullet you have to have some meat here for the for the rifling to grab on. Okay. That has nothing. It just got this weird. I bet take a toothbrush that clean it up, get a better look at it. Definitely take some pictures of it, see if anybody can ID it. Yeah, that's got to go on the Freedom <laughs> Diggers website. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I got something called ID Me on Facebook. That too. I have no idea what that is. You want to stop anytime? Oh, well, we're dead with battery. <laughs> okay, you're telling me the battery's dead. I get it. Tell me, just, just turn off. All right, what you're about to witness is something that Mr. Charles came up with or he read about and he decided to jump on it. This is called black light hunting. When you're, it's, uh, you got a flashlight that's a black light and you take that out when it's like pitch black and dark at night and you shine the black light and you're able to find things. Things that you normally cannot see during the day, you can't see it at night. But for some reason, this black light really, really finds hidden treasure that's normally never found until now. Okay. Got a fisherman's grub right here in the grass. Look at that. And it's all in one piece. That goes into my tackle box. Okay, second find, a small piece of fishing line, that's what that blue is, is clear fishing line, and as the black light hits it, look how it lights up, alright, we're going to add that to the pile. Alright, this is the end complete for part two of Return to Celine. Um, this is actually Mr. Charles Fine. He sent set it up, sent me a picture, and I get the privilege of telling you exactly what he found on the hunt that we were out. Um, over here, we have I have pencil because I gotta do the second generation, sorry. Uh someone had a hammock hanging up. And this I found very interesting. Um he cut this down and then wrapped it up and everything. When you're hanging up hammocks or anything, do not leave these on the tree. Because over time, it'll saw into the tree and kill it. So he said it was very important that if you're going to do anything like that, take the rope with you. Don't leave it on the tree. So there's some knowledge for you. Uh, we got ourselves a little horse that had a broken leg, and he fixed it. And that's totally cool. Um, here's another piece of that wood that we found over there. That's a surface find big time. Uh, yeah, I, I'm saying it has to do something with the brand new cement that they laid down. Um, we got a couple of bottle caps going on over here. Um, he found one of these also, one of these stay fresh pouches from, uh, uh, what was that, beef jerky or something like that. Uh, two Allen wrenches I thought were absolutely incredible. I, I don't know if you can still use them. You probably can. I mean, they're just Allen wrenches. So that could always come in handy. Let's say we got a couple of nails. Um, this is just like a long piece of metal, if I'm not mistaken. That's what that is. We have one pull tab. No, two, three. Uh, kind of threw me off there. I wasn't ready to see that. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, another nail over here. A hair tie. I had to pick that up. That looks like part of a weight that they use for uh, fishing. A fishing weight or something like that. This was a. This probably was a beautiful piece of pottery at one time. And it has a little bit of a, a mint mark down there, which is really, really cool. Uh, someone had a piece of glass uh, lying on top. You just grab that, take it, toss it, surface find. Um, let's see. Do you know what this is? This is actually one of those little black uh, clips that they have. I, I like using them. I use these at work all the time, so I know that that's what that is right off the bat. Found a lighter, and the lighter was actually buried kind of down. It was actually in the ground, so uh, it doesn't exactly work. And um, let's see. What do we have here? We got uh, four dime. No, was that? Four, qu four quarters, one dime, and... A bunch of pennies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about nine pennies. So, yeah, he found some really, really good coinage. But definitely, I, I say it's the find of the day. Yeah, the find of the day. We actually got a, a Mr. Charles actually had a good chance. He brought it back. It was the very first find that we had was the surface find. This is actually a mood ring. 
Yes, it's one of those moon rings. I don't know if they're out in the 70s or whatnot. But yeah, so uh, that that was a that, no, we weren't ready for that. <laughs> that was kind of cool. He actually asked if it was mine. I'm like, it ain't mine. Just, just right there. Just right off the bat, when you find jewelry, first thing that you see is jewelry and you pocket it, you know you're inside for a good hunt. <laughs> All right, so this is going to do it. It's my pleasure to be uh, narrating uh, Mr. Charles Fines for the Incomplete. And we had a phenomenal time. I still got one more day of hunting. It's raining and wet outside, so we are going to go do... I got a very special vault, and we're going to add the vault to the Super Ultra Cool Mega Hunt, because I got a couple of rolls of coins that... Yeah, yeah, it's a special occasion. It's a special time. We got some coins, but thank you very much, Mr. Charles. I had a fantastic time, and I'm glad, and I have the privilege. I was able to narrate your uh, end complete. It was totally awesome. So we will see you at the next video, video number three for the Super Ultra Cool Mega Hunt.